and his name is Yoon Suk. But Yoon Suk is also very scared because of this dungeon break. But he says, Sir, don't worry, I will try my best to save as many citizens as possible. After which we see the next scene and we see that a person is fighting monsters. And he is very easily killing these monsters. And we see that this person is no one else but our hero. And we see that Kim is defeating these monsters using combat skills. And at this time, Kim activates his skill predation. And as soon as this skill is activated, the bodies of all the monsters around Kim are cut off from the middle. And they all die. And after seeing this, Kim is very happy. And Kim thinks that my skill predation is very powerful. But when I use it, my mana ends very quickly because of using it. So I have to find a way to recover my mana. And at this time, Kim activates his skill on the bodies of the monsters around him. And he is extracting mana from them. And at this time, Kim is being told by the system. Your mana has increased a lot. And at this time, your rank is also going up. This makes Kim very happy. And we see that Kim's rank has changed to D and at this time. Predation and Stone Skin have also leveled up. And at this time, Kim is very happy. And he is thinking that the way my power is increasing. If I keep increasing my power like this, very soon I will not only become an A-rank hero, but also an A-rank hero. And we see that because Kim has killed all the monsters, he is thinking that I think my work here is over. And now I should go to J but at this time, Kim hears a sound of a blast. And we see that a person is fighting that jaunt ogre. And that person is saying that I will kill you, you monster. And I will kill you and give justice to all the souls you have killed. And we see that this person is not anyone else but Yoon Suk. And Yoon Suk is crying for justice. You will have to die today. And we see that after hearing Yoon Suk's nonsense, Kim is very surprised and thinking, what is this fool saying? And who does he want to give justice to? But we see that that monster is also going to hit Yoon Suk with a very powerful punch. But with this, Yoon Suk has activated his full power. And he does a very powerful attack on this monster. Because of which there is a very big explosion there. And seeing this explosion, Kim is very surprised. And he is thinking that this person is very powerful. And how can I forget about this person? This is the person who cleared this dungeon break alone in my previous life. And Yoon Suk alone defeated Jaunt Ogre. But Kim is thinking that all that is fine. But what is he doing? And we see that Yoon Suk is holding his hands together. And he is apologizing to all the citizens who are being killed here. And he is saying, forgive me. I couldn't protect you. And you were killed because of me. I am responsible for all this. Kim is very surprised to hear this and he is thinking. This person is really very strange. But at the same time, Kim is told by the system. A skill has been sensed near you. And we see that the reality here is that a person has attacked Yoon Suk. And he has attacked a dagger on Yoon Suk's body. Because of which Yoon Suk is very injured. And he says to that person, who are you? And why did you attack me? So that person says, don't you really remember me? After which we are shown the next scene and we see Jay who has brought his school teacher unconsciously to a safe place. But Jay is very worried about this. And he is also thinking about Kim. And we are shown a previous scene where Kim is saying to Jay you can make anyone unconscious through your skill. So Jay says, yes, I can do it, but why are you asking? So Kim says, because of this dungeon break, a lot of people will die today. And one of them is our teacher. So you have to go and protect them. Because when the dungeon break will happen, they will want to help people. And they will try their best to save people. But they will also die because of the monster's attack. And we are shown the present scene where Jay is thinking. How does Kim know all this? But at the same time, Yoon Suk thinks, is it possible that Kim has the power to see the future? And Jay thinks, yes, it is definitely true. Kim has the power to see the future, through which he has already found out that there is going to be a dungeon break here. Kim's skill is really very awesome. And friends, here Jay has a very big misunderstanding. After which we are shown the next scene where we see Kim. Jay thinks, what is this bastard doing here? And what is happening here? Nothing like this has happened in my previous life. After which we see Yoon Suk, who is screaming and saying, Who are you? Why are you not showing yourself in front of me? And why did you attack me like this? And that person is saying, You are really very powerful. If there was another normal person in your place, then he would have died a long time ago because of this attack. But you are still alive. And along with this, he deactivated his skill, because of which he is now showing himself in front of Yoon Suk. And we are told about this person, that this person is actually a villain whose rank is B and he has a special skill called Stealth, through which he can hide himself anywhere. But friends, I will call this skill Shadow Skill. And along with this, we are told that when People's Awakening had started, then there were many bad people who had misused their powers. And one of them is this person, who is a serial killer, and it's a lot of fun to kill people with him. 
but the problem is that he has also become an awakeninger, because of which his power has increased many times. 